Mogesamovi, tu e gobrebo, este ale compania Haliada, tu e chenis stomari aris, jurnalis de Belgida, Luis Cayen. Hello, first of all, thank you for visiting. Let's yeah. people first introduce you to yourself. Um, so, I'm Cayen uh, from Belgium. Uh, I'm a student in photography. Uh, and yeah, I'm traveling in Georgia now for uh, my project. And yeah, uh, I'm 22 years old. Uh, I have a bachelor in journalism, uh, as you know already. <laughs> and um, yeah. Tell us the reason for your visit to Georgia. Uh, okay, so um, it started out like uh, two months ago or something, uh, my ID. Um, so for school, I'm doing my first bigger project now, which is uh, for me, it's uh, about uh, Georgia. Um, so I've been together for quite some years to now with my girlfriend, uh, Nata. Um, and her family is from uh, Tbilisi and my photo series is basically about my role in this family and my role in this Georgian culture um, and that's why I'm trying to figure out now. Uh, uh, what is your first photography. impression of Georgia? Uh, first impression that Tbilisi was a really big city. Uh, I live in Brussels which is for me pretty small actually. Um, and it's a really, what I've been thinking about it now, it's like a really strange country. Uh, I think Georgia is between like a bridge between like um, this post-Soviet time and it's transiti transiting, um, it's like a transition going on towards a more European lifestyle, I think so. Um, which I really felt in uh, Batumi, for example, where it's just like this really new kind of Batumi with the, like the high buildings and very very yeah. modern uh, and then there's also this older Batumi um, so that's mostly my idea about Georgia now that's in, into some kind of strange phase into a tra uh, transition between post-Soviet and going towards a more European lifestyle now um, that's mostly what I've been thinking about Georgia yeah. until now. You've heard of your stay here, what do you like most besides the food? Mm, sorry. Besides food, what do you like most? Uh, hospitality. Like everybody's yeah, really so friendly. My, my next question, like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's really friendly, and everywhere I come to, it feels like coming home for some reason. Um, I've been staying with the family of uh, my girlfriend now for uh, a week and a half already, and when we were in Batumi, after like five days, we were getting ready uh, to get back to Tbilisi, to the apartment where we uh, live now. And in some kind of strange way, like my, um, the company I was with, uh, Kyo, he told me like, oh, it feels good to go home. And in some kind of strange way, it felt a bit like going home for me as well. Um, um, in your opinion, how free is the media in Georgia? Mm, I don't know much, or I don't know really much about it, because my Georgian isn't really good. Um, what I've been he hearing is it's kind of all right, I think so. Um, I think free media is one of the most important things of a democracy. Uh, and if Georgia is really considering joining the EU, the EU for example, I think um, journalism should be a really important part in that as well, as being like this fourth power. Um, but yeah, well, could you tell me a um, bit more about it? Uh, How do you think like you your, work as a journalist? Uh, opinion, no. What is the level of democracy in Georgia? What is the level of democracy? Yes. Um, I think compared to other countries in the region... High, lower, low, lower, hmm? high, lower or... It's like average standard. maybe. Yeah. Uh, I think there could be, uh, in every country of course, there could be improvements. Yeah. Um, but I think it's, compared to other countries in the region, I think it's, Georgia is doing a pretty good job on that. Um, no. Uh, what is the uh, situation regarding uh, freedom media in Belgium? Freedom in, of media in Belgium yeah. is uh, something that's very, very important. Um, in Belgium, we see the we see media and journalism really as a fourth power. Um, yeah. And I work as a journalist too in Belgium, and I see that there is a lot of respect for this fourth power. Uh, and if there won't be it will be like really big news, it will be all over the place. Um, so it's a really uh, important thing in Belgium, yeah. Um, in your opinion, Georgia has a chance to uh, become a member of the European Union? Um, yeah. And, uh, and how long it will take? Oh, it will, of course, it will take <laughs> a lot of time. Like, 
every application will, of course, need Five a lot years, of time. Five years, ten years. Or I would probably say more towards 10 years than five years. Um, like I already said in the beginning, I think yeah. there's still a big transition going now, uh, and Georgia is going in the right direction, but it will still need a lot of time, I think so as well, especially maybe like the uh, elder generation, um, who will probably need to um, get used to being, the, uh, being part of the European Union. But every country that wants to be part of the European Union takes a lot of time to get into it. Uh, uh, what we can say about war in Ukraine? Uh, for some reason, I think, if we're still talking about uh, joining yeah. the European Union, like, um, they got some kind of paper now for the application, and in some way, like, the whole world maybe is now thinking, oh, Ukraine is now a, like a fast in process of joining the, U the European Union. But in, real in reality, uh, reality, it still takes a long time to take part to become part of it. Um, of course, there's some good signs going on now that von der Leyen, for example, is reaching out uh, herself to um, Zelensky now. Yeah. But it will still take considerable time until Ukraine uh, will be part of it. And I think Ukraine joining the European Union would be a first step uh, towards Georgia joining as well. Um, so I heard a couple of days ago there was like. A, Georgia got some kind of application that was uh, approved or something uh, that yeah, they could start joining the European Union. Like just yes, like some yes. small small steps are being made yes, now, small steps. Um, but it still will but take a couple of years. In, uh, in Russian imperialism, it's it, uh, it's amazing. What do you mean? Uh, Russian imperialism. Mm -hmm. It's amazing for our country. For the, Georgia. What do you mean, sorry? Yeah. Do you say you're saying the Russian imperialism is? Yes. Ah, you mean like? Um, it's amazing for our country, for Ukraine, for Georgia. Because of that way, you could yes. easily, more easily join the European yes. Union. Ah, okay, yeah, of course. I think that as well. Um, I think the war now is, in some way, strange to say, of course, but it's in some way doing good things for. What I mean by that is, by. Um, Approving maybe at a bit faster for countries to join the European Union. Um. Um, your position was interesting regarding Georgia. Um, thank you for your position, yep. your interview, and we can. And if you don't want, if you want to talk anything, we are listening. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was, <laughs> I'm glad to be here, and uh, it was a fun experience. So, yeah. Thank you very much Thank you. for your time. Thank you so much. I'm a journalist in Belgrade, Luis Kajani, a media scientist, and I'm a journalist in Belgrade. I'm a journalist in Belgrade.